Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to the FEU Career and Placement Office Pre-Employment Preparation or Pep Talk Webinar Series for the second semester of 2020-2021. My name is Ron Gascon, the coordinator of the FEU Career and Placement Office or CAPO, and I am your MC this afternoon. Pep Talk is a regular virtual series designed to prepare the graduating students for employment by equipping them with the necessary knowledge through touching on various topics delivered by industry professionals and experts. And on your screen now, you can see our previous Pep Talk webinars done last semester. You may rewatch them at your most convenient time at the Career and Placement Office official Facebook page and at the FEU YouTube channel. Today's webinar is being live streamed via Microsoft Teams. We're also live via FEU and CAPO official Facebook pages. To participate in our question and answer segment, you may submit your comments and questions anytime by posting at our conversation page. It can be found at the right side of your screen if you're using a desktop or at the live Q&A tab if you are using a mobile phone or other portable device. For our viewers watching through the FEU Facebook live streaming, you may also post your questions on the comment section as well. We really anticipate your questions and participation as we progress in our webinar this afternoon. In a world economy that recently shifted to full online ecosystem, how does digital marketing play a role in providing career opportunities? How does digital marketing influence the trends and potential outcomes of a business? What does, the, what does it take to become a social and digital marketing professional? And how do we create a successful brand, personal brand, I may say, in the digital world? The Epi Current Placement Office presents its third pre-employment preparation talk or PEP talk for the year 2021 titled, You're the Brand, Understanding the Power of Digital Marketing. This webinar episode is brought to you by CAPO in collaboration with the Alumni Relations Office together with our digital media partner, Shanghai Syndicate. Stay tuned as we discover more about how we can take advantage of the skills in digital marketing to advance our careers. Just a reminder, please make sure that your microphones are on mute to avoid causing any unnecessary noise. Thank you for your cooperation and enjoy the rest of the program. And now, ladies and gentlemen, for the opening remarks, may I call on the Director of the Career and Placement Office, Ms. Maria Carmencita, Babes Suva Alfonso. Um, Babes, the screen is yours. Yeah, thank you very much, Sir Ron. Good afternoon, everyone. Our distinguished speaker, our Senior Vice President, Maria Teresa Trinidad Dino, our Assistant Vice President, Generoso Pamitan Jr., deans, faculty members, students, and co-employees, Good afternoon, and thank you for taking a time out of your busy schedule to join us today. In the past two semesters, we learned how to cope in this new normal. We learned how to navigate and adjust on how things will be even after the pandemic. We don't wait for, for things to happen. We make things happen. The FEU Career and Placement Office, or CAPO, has successfully run a series of webinars last semester. A, to a total of 15, if I may say, to give our students the basics of working and finding a job amidst the new normal. We have also successfully rolled out all other online activities designed to help prepare our internship and graduating students for the new world of work. Online mock interview with coaching, online exclusive recruitment, online recruitment for Tamarouse, and the FEU or the TAMS, the FEU's ever um, first virtual job fair, and then the student exposure to partner organization, to name a few. As we, con as we provide a holistic approach in our students' career development, we continue to offer meaningful activities and programs to help prepare and guide them in their life design. Whether they want to have a successful career, build their own empire, or a freelance professional. With the advent of pandemic, our pep talk has covered numerous subject, subject matters, not only on pre-employment preparation, but other important topics that would equip our students with essential know-how on entrepreneurship, personal development, 
as well as continuing education such as finding scholarships abroad. Let me show you a short video clip of Kapo's activities last semester up to this semester, up to the present. Video, please. As we continue to provide our students and graduates with meaningful activities, CAPO should deliver more programs beneficial to our students to help them thrive in the new normal. Please check out our event posters and calendar of activities. We shall be posting this in the official FEU social media sites and canvas. For today's episode titled, You're the Brand, Understanding the Power of Digital Marketing, we are grateful to our alumni, Dr. Karen Remo, for sharing her colleague, a digital marketing expert, to be our speaker today. He is a brand marketing champion with solid background in marketing and advertising. He has worked in major advertising agencies and has a wide experience in working in the brand side, making him deeply knowledgeable in both the agency and the client side. We are indeed lucky to have him today as he will be able to give valuable insights in equipping our students about the nature and importance of digital marketing in this new normal and how it will open door of opportunities to our graduates and students. This topic is very relevant as we continue to explore, adjust, and thrive in the new normal ways of doing things, not only in school, but in the world of work as well. On that note, I'd like to end with my usual reminder. While it is not going to be easy to sort out the challenges in this new situation that we are in, always remember the mantra, be brave because Tamaraos have always been resilient to whatever comes our way. Always remember that. And now, without further ado, allow me to introduce our speaker. He has worked with the biggest brands like Coca-Cola, Coca -Cola, Philips Lights, Mondelez, Marlboro, Unilever, and Procter & Gamble, to name a few. He is not only an expert of marketing, but he has also rich experience in handling government and semi-government clients such as International Halal Accreditation Forum, Dubai, Dubai Chamber, UAE, UAE Prime Minister's Office, UAE Ministry of State for Federal National Council Affairs, UAE Ministry of Finance, UAE Ministry of Interior, Hamburg Chamber of Commerce, Hamburg Ministry of Health and Prevention, Philippine Department of Trade, and a lot more. He has also conceptualized and implemented integrated marketing campaigns and projects that won multiple awards and recognitions as well as con contributed to the success of the client's campaign by reaching out and surpassing clients' marketing objectives and sales goals. One of his core strengths in creating communication strategy, planning and execu executing, executing them through different marketing activities and using different platforms. His knowledge in digital marketing has also enabled him to launch a number of digital marketing campaigns in the UAE. And because of their success, we uh, it were adopted by these big brands to their global campaigns. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, on your screen, um, from Dubai, <laughs> the Vice President for Brand Engagement and Communication at New Perspective Media, also the General Manager at the Filipino Times, Mr. Vince Ang. Um, I think your your uh, microphone is on mute, sir. Thank you very much for being here, sir. Good afternoon. Are you? Yeah. On? Hi. Hi. Can you hear me now? Yes, sir. Loud and clear. Thank you. The floor is yours. <laughs> thank you for that wonderful introduction. So, thank you for having me here. So, I'll be sharing my uh, thoughts and uh, my knowledge and experience on digital marketing and let's see how I'll be able to help out your graduates 
or your future graduates to land a job in digital marketing. So, yep, I'll be sharing my screen. All right. So uh, I'll start with a question. How digital ready are you? So let's ask ourselves, gaano nga ba tayo ka digital ready on actually landing a job or looking for a job in digital marketing? But before that, let me introduce myself. So like most of you, I am a millennial, cat lover, cat and dog lover, fashion enthusiast, food lover, a wonder, a career-focused person, crazy about hair colors, Raising the flag here in the UAE. Lucky Moraita din po. And of course, mentored by an alumna from, an FE, from FEU. So I'm Vince Ang. I'll be uh, sharing my thoughts on this uh, topic so that you'll probably identify whether you're going to fit to the digital marketing world or you're probably one of the uh, expectators of digital marketing. All right. So I'm from your perspective media. And here in your perspective media, we basically handle our client, take care of their reputation through the through various marketing platforms and marketing communication tools. So we are a 360 degree marketing agency here in the Middle East and have been handling clients both on the private and the public as well. We've, as mentioned, we've already handled more than 1,000 brands, multi companies doing their uh, doing their communication marketing and communication and something that we're really really proud of here is that new perspective media owns the filipino times which is the largest free newspaper in the ue and the biggest digital platform for filipinos in the middle east and so for any one of you i'm sure a lot of you would have relatives or families here in the middle east ask them to follow us so that you'll get to know as well and uh what's happening here in the middle east right. so how digital ready are you these are the topics that I'll be discussing today. So first, we'll like to discuss and I'd like to share with you what is social media and digital marketing. Of course, a lot of you might be asking, ano nga ba talaga ang social media or digital marketing? And of course, and then we're going to move uh, discussing about the influence and importance of it. Opportunities to work in digital marketing and what is a digital footprint? I mean, probably some of you would or have heard this the first time. And of course, as mentioned, the end goal natin dito is, is to understand ano nga ba ang online brand na gusto natin mangyari. Now, these are most of the famous uh, digital or social media platforms that you might be encountering. I'm sure a lot of you might be wondering bakit may parang dating app yata dito. Yes, anything that is that you communicate with other people or engage with that could be considered as part of your digital marketing platforms. So in digital marketing, ano nga ba talaga? Let's define it. So anything that refers to an online marketing efforts or an asset could be considered part of the digital marketing. Gano nga ba kalaki ngayon ang digital marketing? On a population of 7.83 billion, 56.4 are already engaged in the digital world, meaning may, may they be part of uh, using internet, uh, doing research, or using different social media platforms or different uh, apps na meron that would engage or that would allow brands to engage with them through uh, various communication channels or various communication tools that I would uh, will talk about later as well. So ano nga ba yung mga digital assets? So anything that, uh, that would fall under your website any brand assets that would, that may access on online, so that includes your logo, your uh, icons, your acronyms, your taglines, your video contents, your images, written content, online products. So it could be your interactive products. It could be anything. Say, for example, an inquiry form could be you know part of your digital assets, and of course, all your social media uh, pages is part of your dig digital assets. Now. On the digital marketing strategy, naman, these are some of the items that you or the things that you will encounter, and I'll explain it to you short, uh, briefly one by one. So, ano nga ba yung mga digital marketing strategy? One, something that a lot of you will be very, very familiar at malamang na big tima na rin kayo nito, ang mga pay per click uh, ads. So, ito po yung mga ads, or these are the ads that when you clicked, it goes through a certain platform and that 
the what happens here is that it, yung brand every time every time yung adila ay click they have to be they have to pay the platform or the google uh the yung google access for every person that na click ng ads nila now yung paid search advertising naman is anything that you search online so ito yung whenever you search on google and then you see ad so on hand these are the paid search advertising and then the seo the seo naman is the organic version of the paid search advertising so, so seo usually um it's more of creating keywords that are commonly searched by the by the uh, by the audience and then so paid social advertising of course these are the these are the ads that you see the boosted or sponsored on various uh social media platforms you can see that uh, primarily on facebook and instagram so they have uh, paid social media content and then, of course, you have your social media marketing. This is again your organic uh, content for your social media platforms. Your CRO or your conversion rate optimization. So these are what this is one of the many strategies the mga digital marketing uh, people. So paano naman ginagawa yung conversion rate optimization? So yung conversion rate optimization. Ito yung nakita ka ng mga blogs and there's a click through link or a link inside the content. So say for example. You've read an article about skincare, and then nakita mo yung brand naka naka hyperlink siya. So ang nangyayari si brand would pay the platform every time someone would click that through the content, and then it may lead them to an uh, an inquiry form or an actual platform, an e-commerce platform where they can actually buy or avail of their service or products and services. Now on content marketing, so content marketing anything that has got copies na pino promote so ito yung mga blogs mga articles these are content considered content marketing now sin native native advertising you probably wonder what is native ad advertising so native advertising is another for, uh, another term for content marketing through a third party uh, platform so say for example you've seen uh, or you visited a news website where they are promoting a review of a certain gadget. Sometimes it could be organic or sometimes it could be actually a native advertising push from the brand itself. Now, next we have um, email marketing. So it's email marketing no matter anything that you receive on your email. I'm sure you receive a lot of that uh, of those um, emails coming from different brands, different, different um, e-commerce platform, lalo na yung mga nag require for you to actually subscribe before you um, create your login credentials and, and, and that. So, yun yung mga um, tinatawag natin na uh, email, mar uh, email marketing. And then, of, of course, affiliate marketing naman are, you know, the partnerships that you're gonna have on uh, digital platforms or different platforms na meron. Now, Let's talk about naman the influence and importance of digital marketing. Now, your influence and impact now of digital marketing are way, way, way stronger than it is before, especially now that a lot of people are engaged online since there are a lot of res uh, movement restrictions. Your impact now have even doubled compared to the previous years. Now, these are the these are some of the impacts or top most common impact or result the mga digital digital marketing efforts that we do as a brand. Of course, in research and experiment. So what do I mean by research and experiment? A lot of customers now have got the access to to research about things. So based on reviews, based on um, they could even do their research based on the content na pino promote mo. Say for example, you're promoting a water that is sodium free. You're promoting a water with alkaline and all that so they could actually research more about their product and get interested more about their products uh, because of the access of digital uh, of the digital world then of course in word of mouth now we already have i understand that you're probably thinking in word of mouth is your very traditional old old style of marketing but there's also such thing as digital world of mouth so meaning ito yung mga <clears throat> endorsement mga shout out na ginagawa ng mga influencers natin. And, and of course, customer engagement. 
in digital world, especially on social media, you've seen that there's a lot of people engaging on different brands, commenting whether they're praising them or bashing them. There's a lot of potential for customer engagement, which is actually good because that's how you uh, be able to improve your products and services. Then, of course, the, the power of artificial intelligence, young AI. So a lot of digital market uh, marketers are, are banging on the the strength of or the the features or the advancement of art, artificial intelligence because of this. I'm I'm sure you've experienced this before. Na alam naman natin yung mga uh, how do you say this? Yung mga gadgets natin, may mga listening tool, uh, listening tools sila, de ba? So minsan napag-usapan nila lang or you try to search about a certain uh, brand or a certain uh, product, and then makikita mo on your social media, puro related ads or or ads that are related to that specific product na pinag-usapan or, or ni-research mo, yun yung mga lumalabas sa'yo. So that's the power of, of, of AI. And then of course, yung customer loyalty. Now, yung customer loyalty, this is a good and a bad side of, of yung impact ng digital marketing. As you, as you probably notice, there's a lot of brands competing sa attention ng mga customers. So yung customer loyalty medyo bumababa din. But at the same time, this could also be an advantage for those late mga late na nag-enter sa, 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 market, sa market. Because that means there would always be an opportunity for you to take a good part or a good uh, slice of the pie to market. Because mababa nga yung customer loyalty, all you have to do is actually engage with them and hopefully you'll be able to improve the service and the product of their existing brand para they get to be loyal to you naman. Yeah. And what else? Impulse buying, I'm sure a lot of you, pag nagkaroon na ng mga 9, 9, 10, 10 sales, di ba? Add to cart ng add to cart na yan kasi maraming, marami, most of the purchases online are actually impulse buying. Now, ano pang impact and influence of digital marketing? Less patience and high expectation. A lot of us, a lot of us who's, who's into e-commerce, a lot of us who's into online, uh, buying things online, there's really high expectation on things. That's why um, also as a, digital, uh, as a digital marketer, we also have to be really transparent to, to our customers and ensure that we'll be able to uh, describe to them yung mga uh, services or inclusions on the services or description of the products that we're selling. And then of course, your personal shopping experience. I'm sure you've experienced din, uh, you've experienced this on doing mga online shopping. Nyo. Pag nakita nyo kung ano yung mga usual na binibili nyo, they already give you suggestions or they also parang minsan may mga um, platforms that you that would actually suggest you uh, and say like you've you've bought this item and most of the people have also bought this item in connected uh par in connection this item na binili mo. so these are some of the the influence and impact that uh, and things that uh digital marketing can do for your brand now what are the importance of digital marketing first as mentioned earlier you reach more people where they spend their time as you know, there are a lot, as mentioned earlier, now a lot of a lot of places and a lot of countries now still do have um, movement restrictions. So most of them are on their phones. So since mas maraming tao and spend on their phones trying to check what they what 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 what's happening. So digital marketing is the key. Target them where they spend their time. Compe uh, competitors are already doing it, so why not? Diba? If your competitors are already doing it, if you don't do it, then you lose the chance to compete and retain your customers. Now, you can compete with a larger corporation, as mentioned earlier, kahit late ka na enter na market, if you'll be able to provide a better service, a better product, pwedeng pwede mo silang makuha. Next, you have target your ideal audience. Now, how do we do this? On digital marketing, when we post an ad or we, we, we create an ad, may it be on your social, may it be through programmatics or um, through Google AdSense, you can actually create and identify specifically 
kung ano yung audience natin na target mo, down to their behavior. So, say for example, you can categorize them, babae ba, lalaki ba, both ba, ang tinatarget natin, anong age demographics ang tinitignan natin. Do you want your ad to be seen only on a specific area or in a specific area? Say for example, even if you're based in the Philippines but you're target, targeting OFWs here in the Middle East, you can actually target them through digital marketing kasi pwede mong iset yung parameters uh, kung saan lugar mo sila or saan, saan lugar mo gusto lumabas yung ads mo. And what else? You can also target them through their behavior, through their languages, through the things that they would usually search. Ganun ka specific. That's why it, it, it also really, really good that you engage on digital marketing because the ROI or the investment to actually reach your target market uh, target audience is actually lower than the, your usual uh, mass communication. What else? Um, you can monitor your campaigns and optimize for a better result. As you know, on digital marketing, you can always adjust it since live naman tayo or naka live naman yung mga ads natin. You can always tweak it. Say, for example, you feel that, ah, okay, I'm boosting my ad on this. Uh, between this time and this time, kasi ito yung pinakamaraming engagement in user ko. Oops, teka, ito palang ad kong to is not targeting these user, but they're targeting those user who are um, accessing my account during lunch break, di ba? So, pwede mo siyang mabago real time based on the numbers, based on the result of your analytics. And it's really, really important for you to um, understand and study numbers uh, when, when, when you're doing digital marketing. I know a lot of you said, or probably would say na kaya nga ako nag-marketing because I don't want numbers. But no, digital marketing is, is numbers. Game of numbers yan. If you wanna if you wanna be as effective as possible, learn how to read analytics, learn how to read the numbers. And the numbers would always speak for itself kung effective yung, yung campaign mo or not. Next, you've got an impressive return of, of your investment as mentioned earlier. Because measurable, specific target and and that you always you can always customize it then your ROI mo would always be higher than the rest of or the other marketing compared to other marketing uh, channels or, or tools na pwede mong gamitin. Now, let's talk about job opportunities and digital marketing. So before we talk about job uh, designations, let's try to understand first, ano nga ba yung mga activities na meron under digital marketing so that we know saan ka magpo-fall or which department ka magpo-fall or saan department ka mag or would be interested to work uh, for other digital marketing. So there are four uh, main categories. First, we have the content, the creative, statistics, and technicals. Now, I'll show, with, uh, I'll show here ko ano yung mga positions and then I'll explain briefly ko ano yung mga uh, job roles or uh, uh, functions ng mga uh, designations na to. So let's start with the content. Content, mostly if you're really good in writing, you might want to, in, to work under content department. So you could be probably a blog post and uh, article writer, email newsletter, uh, writer, ebooks and white paper writers, researcher, or, or creative copywriter. Now, these are the entry levels. As you move forward, yung writer, pwede siya maging senior writer, and then it could be an assistant editor, and then it could be an, an editor or head editor, group editor, or executive copywriter. Yan yung mga pwedeng uh, uh, position or, or pwede mong mapuntahan as you, as you uh, be an expert in content writing for the sa digital marketing. Now, for some of you naman who would feel na parang, okay, writing is not my cup of tea, I might go to creatives because I think I'd be able to explore more on creativity through visuals. So anything that is visual will fall under creative. First, we have, of course, the graphic designers. Ayan, yung mga graphic designers, ito, anything that, that would, that you, the, or yung mga create na mga statics or mga interactive um, designs na meron tayo. May be posters, may be ads na nakikita mo sa, sa social media. Graphic designers na gumagawa ng mga logos, mga brand logos, diba? or company logos. 
And also, ano naman yung career path mo when, when, when you go through graphic designer? Of course, being graphic designer, then you could be, you know, an art director, a senior art director, ayun yung mga career path naman for that. And then you have, of course, the video producer. Ano ba ka ng video producer and video editor? The video producer are the people who actually would shoot and create the assets or yung mga materials for, for videos. And then si video editor naman, sila yung mga nag edit ng material and would uh, tatay-tay-e lahat ng materials na meron para makapag-produce ng video material for any marketing campaign. Now, of course, you have the, your photographers as well. This is something uh, very, very useful. useful for mga products, uh, uh, product shots, mga, mga uh, uh, materials that you need to create that would support your graphic designer. And then of course, your visual storyteller. Your visual storyteller naman are mga, mga uh, gumagawa ng mga storyboards or story, uh, uh, campaigns in visuals. So para rin silang content uh, copywriter, but visuals naman sila. Now, as mentioned earlier, this is the game of numbers. Ayan. So there's also a group or a department in digital marketing that would focus on understanding the results or the performance of your campaign so that you'll be able or that so that the marketing team or the digital marketing team would be able to create a better um, campaign or better execution of each of the campaigns. So you have the analytics managers. So your analytics manager would cover Yung mga social media platforms or even um, Google Analytics, lahat ng any 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 tools or any um, platforms na magre result or can extract analytics in aral yan lahat. So that will be able to identify sa paano tayo makapag improve or paano mag improve yung campaign natin. May it be on the visuals, think uh, we can compare to uh, mag pwede tayo mag duma ng uh, test, test uh, A and B para makita aling visuals ang mag, mag work better and then ani mga uh, best times for us to advertise cinema demographics na mas nag-click ng advert ng advertising natin may it would also be able to identify whether we're actually targeting or creating the right communication to our right audience because maybe we're creating um, a campaign that is targeting um, ages 35 to 30 35 to 45, but then again, yung mga nakiklik pala sa atin are mga 21 to 25. So, these are these are the parang role to ng uh, analytics manager to identify and flag then sa content and creator so that the campaign, the future campaign will be better. Then the conversion of the op op optimizations, so ito yung, and panel experts, ito naman yung nag-identify paano natin kino-convert or uh, gano'n ka-effective yung conversion ng ads to actual sales or actual inquiries. Okay. Si panel expert, ang pagkakaiba nila, si panel expert, siya yung nag identify ng process or the customer journey para magpapabilis yung conversion, para magpapabilis yung, or para makikip engage yung mga customer para makaabot sila dun sa actual purchase uh, or actually purchasing the item or availing of the service. Now, we also have technical people. Ito naman yung mga nag-implement or um, nagagawa talaga ng uh, boom strategy. So we have the SEO experts, the paid ads uh, specialists. So the paid ad specialists means that sila yung identify or sila yung identify ng mga platforms or budgets and even uh, setting up demographics or setting up the parameters on your paid advertising. Then of course, of course, you have your email marketing managers and your social media marketers. Now, Understand at all, usually hindi sila pa nag-uusapan, but yes, it's actually a job. It's actually a full-time job to be an influencer. So a lot of you probably uh, are already an influencer or starting to become an influencer or would like to become an influencer. So yes, that's part of digital marketing. You can still, you are part of the whole um, ecosystem. And also there are people who are managing influencers. Uh, pagdating naman sa influencer manager, ito yung mga nag-manage or nag-book parang sa mga artista din. So nag-book ng mga um, brand engagement, handling their image and all this. Yeah. So reminder, for those of you who are thinking of working in digital marketing, let me just remind you, whatever you know as of the moment will only last you for two months. Why? 
yes, theory is good, you have good knowledge on how it works, how to post, how to create content, but always remember, as mentioned earlier, very important ang analytics. And ang algorithm ng every platform would change. Usually, nag-tweak yan, naglalagay sila ng different changes every two months and so on. So, it is very, very, very important that you continue to study, do a lot of research, explore different platforms, explore your existing platforms, and try. Try it yourself so that you'll be able to know paano siya pag nag-live or paano siya execute. My tip ako, every time I create a social media campaign, I have a dummy page so that I would be able to test ko ano yung mga nangyayari para hindi na apekto ng brand natin. And at the same time, you'd be able to explore and have a room for mistake kung paano mo i-execute yung mga campaigns that you have in mind or that have already agreed with the client or probably already agreed or approved by the team. Yeah. So what is digital footprint? Now, this is something very, very important for a lot of you. Probably some of you are not looking to work as a digital marketer or being part of digital marketing, but this is, um, we're now moving on naman to those people who probably curious gano nga ba important ang presence mo on digital uh, or on social and how it will impact you sa paghahanap mo na trabaho or for you landing your dream job. Now, what is digital footprint? It's any information about a particular person that exists on the internet as a result of their online activity. So anything, anything na ginagawa mo online will have a mark. So, ito yung naiiwan mo sa, sa digital world. At pag sinerge ang pangalan mo or sinerge yung, yung keywords that are related to you, ito yung lalabas. So, some companies would engage or employ you based on your digital footprint. Now, when, we, when I try to search my name on Google, so when I type Vince and Dubai, ito yung lumalabas. Diba? So, you have the articles that are written that mentions my name, companies or brands or clients that have mentioned me on their social media platforms, brands that I've worked with, or sometimes, baka may kapangalan ka. So, as much as possible, you always try to create a good digital footprint, especially if you're looking at working or being part of a multinational company. But again, it depends on the culture of the company that you're gonna work with. So let's move on on identifying what is my online brand. Diba? So ask yourself, pag mo, hi Google, who am I? Or hi Siri, show me the picture of Vince Ang. Hi Alexa, search for Vince Ang Dubai. You have to know or you have to ensure that yung lalabas dyan or yung makikita mo sa Google search is something that you will like or something that you are proud of, or something that you won't feel ashamed. I'm sure ako din naman, meron ako mga images there that, ooh, bakit ko pinos yan? Diba? May mga ganun tayo, but at least as you move or identify ano yung gusto mong career or ano yung gusto mong um, industry to work with or organization to be part of, dapat in line ka with the brand. So my personal advice is that be who you are and be the brand you want to work with. So like here, how I do it is that I have posts that are related to my work and that would represent me or uh, in my organization well. My lifestyle, I still post it. I'm, I'm, I'm very, very active with um, things outside work as well. Uh, um, as I mentioned, I'm a foodie. I'm, I'm one of the uh, I'm one of the top reviewer here in Zomato, here in Dubai, so I have that part of my, my social media as well. Of course, you can always, always, always show your personality in a man. Um, again, I'm not saying that you don't have to post this, you cannot post that, you only have to post this. Wala pong, wala pong ano, batas or guideline or a constitution 
that would tell you ito lang yung limitation mo sa pag-post on your social or, or, or creating your digital footprint. But my advice is that ano yung gusto mong platform, ano yung gusto mong, uh, sorry, ano yung gusto mong brand, ano yung gusto mong organization, make sure that what you post on your social and what you post on anything online, may you comment on, on, on others' platform, this will be acceptable to the brand that you want to work with and this is the brand that you want people to see you or this is your digital brand. Okay. So that's a very, very short um, presentation for all of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for this um, opportunity to uh, share my knowledge on digital uh, marketing. Yeah. All right. Do we have a uh, question? Thank you so Thank much, you so much. Uh, Sir Pins uh, Ang, yeah. for that. We learned a lot from your talk this afternoon. And uh, we would like to go now to some of the questions from our audience. Mm -hmm. And uh, this one is an anonymous no, posting. Okay. Uh, this question is uh, mentioning here, what are some of the specific challenges that you've experienced as a professional in the world of digital marketing? Challenges. Um, actually, yung, yung every day is a challenge eh, for, for digital marketing because you'll never know kung kailan magbabago yung, yung algorithm ng mga platforms na ginagalawan mo. At the same time, people change yung behavior nila. Uh, Always remember that when you play or when you when you participate in digital marketing, if you think, say for example, you're working with a, a beverage, if you think ang kalaban mo in beverage, beverage companies lang no on digital marketing ang kalaban mo any brand that would take away the time of your customer because they're engaging with them, you compete with their share of wallet, you compete with their time, then they are your competition. Technically, your competition for the things of digital marketing. So challenge, yes, how to engage your customer, how to continue, continuously engage them. So continuous learning, continuous understanding of your, of, your, your, of your consumer. So understanding their behavior offline and their behavior online. And then creating a strategy on how to, to uh, answer the needs of your customer. That's very, very important and how understanding their their likes para create kind of communication and engagement that would keep them loyal to your brand. Yeah. All right, sir. Thank you so much for that. Now, we still encourage our audience, our dear students that who are present right now to please pose your questions. We would like to really make sure that we maximize this opportunity with Sir Vince Ang. So there's another question here. I think this one is really interesting. Well, personally, uh, in relation to Philippine laws that are in effect, like uh, the Data Privacy Act of 2012, and also the intellectual property rights, to name a few, are there measures on how we can make digital marketing a safe, reputable, and fulfilling profession? Actually, pwede naman kasi siya. Yung data privacy naman is just as long as you don't share information. And then usually with all, you can always create a fine print naman or um, parang a tick box that they are green. So say for example, some uh, pagdating sa email marketing. So once you ask your, your, your customer to subscribe and share their personal information, you always have to have a parang disclaimer, a tick box that they are agreeing to receive, you know, marketing collaterals, feature promotions, and all this, and that you as a brand is responsible for not sharing their personal information to other companies or other individuals as well. Okay. Right, so that's really important no, to understand how we take care of the privacy of our consumers and also the company, definitely. And uh, again, it's really creating a safe space for all of us. Okay, thank you so much, Sir Vince. Another question here. This is interesting from one of our, I think this one from our students. No? How can you brand yourself well, kahit wala pa pong professional experiences? Um, it depends kasi siya no, kung anong brand yung gusto mong pasokan. So say for example, I don't know if, if some of you would uh, are fond of watching TV series. 
pag nakita mo kanina yung yung, yung opening site, these are the, the series or movies na nagfe-feature ng mga digital marketers, paano sila nagtatrabaho, di ba? As, as an individual, sometimes ako, if I want to work with a person, fresh grad, eh, I would base it dun sa requirement ng brand ko. So, yung brand ko ba ay naghahanap ng, or looking for someone who's preppy, who's some, someone stylish and all that, then I have to see in your social media that you are actually my brand, you speak my brand, you represent my brand. So that I'll be able to be interested to engage with you and probably, oh, this person would be able to add more value to brand code because he gives a new flavor or he or she gives new flavor or he or she is actually someone that is or understand by target market, right? Or it could also be, uh, say for example, someone who's looking for a job on their creatives, then post your work, right? Hindi ka man as expert as you think you are, but probably you're really good at or you really have a very creative eye and very technical skills on creating videos and all that, then you'll be able to create the interest ng employer mo na parang, ah, okay, this person have got a lot of potential, um, a lot of a lot of uh, possibility working with this person that would enable or enable my brand to grow further. Diba? Pwedeng ganun. Thank you so much, Sir Vince. We really understand though, some uh, the feeling of uncertainty among our students, especially those who just uh, graduated and about to graduate. And uh, that's noted when you mentioned that we have to understand our potential and of course our skills that we can further develop. Okay, there's another question here really interesting. No? Uh, I think this uh, listener or audience really um, interested about the digital footprint part of your discussion. As an aspiring YouTuber, is there any kind of advice or suggestion that you can give to be noticed or as you say it, put your digital footprint in the world of YouTube? Um, pagdating sa digital footprint naman kasi usually, um, ang lumalabas dyan or binibase din naman sa ng Google, ng search in, engine, there's the most number of views, the most number of, of um, people who have actually engaged. Doon siya naka-arrange, di ba? Um, now, it's very important that you create or you put words that are searchable or people would commonly use para mas higher yung, yung probability that you get to be uh, searched the search engine or lumabas the search page. Um, dun, sa, dun sa options when you're uploading videos on YouTube, di ba? May mga tags doon, may mga keywords na hinihingi, may mga hashtag that you could actually use or words that you could actually use that would, sorry, help you na mas strengthen or dumami yung, yung entry mo dun sa, sa, sa Google so that mag dumanda yung digital footprint na meron ka. Now, also, if Google or if YouTube is not working for you as of the moment, since mahirap makapag-compete talaga sa YouTube, try to access different platforms to promote your YouTube account. So say for example, if you feel that there are more audience on Facebook or more audience on Instagram that would interest you, then promote your YouTube account dun sa mga platform na yun para dumami din yung entry mo on the digital world, mas tumaas yung gumanda yung digital footprint mo because you're available to different platforms, but you're not trying to dilute people na mawala dun sa YouTube, but you're actually redirecting them to your YouTube channel and eventually you'll be able to create more subscriber and mas, mas, mas strengthen mo yung power or yung, yung, uh, yung reach ng yung uh, YouTube channel. Yeah. Yes. Thank you, Sir Vince. We can see the connection of your, uh, for example, a content creator in terms mm. of uh, the type of uh, videos or the themes mm. that a YouTuber would like to present in his or her channel. And of course, how does it actually affect his or her digital footprint? Okay, thank you. Sir, this is another very interesting question. Uh, I think it's a bit personal for you because you're uh, Dubai-based right now. Mm. Is there any difference between working as a digital marketing manager here and they're in Dubai, is the landscape different given that there is difference in culture, language, or even, of course, the socioeconomic status, I would say. Okay. 
Um, when it comes to working in marketing in general, may it be digital or your traditional marketing, may it be in PR and all that, marketing job is really about understanding your market. You know, so definitely there will be a change. Um, yung, of course, your pay grade mo, your designation mo would depend on the ex your expertise and understanding your market, diba? So, may chance, yes, may chance na pagdating mo dito, you have to step down a little para, para mag-fit ka muna dun sa understanding mo ng market, the, the culture. But however, there would also be a sense na parehas din naman or even a higher promotion pa because your experience or your technical skills are even better. So say for example, um, hindi ka naman sa content nagtatrabaho dun ka sa analytics but you're really, really good at analytics. So di pagdating mo dito, pwede you could be an, a senior level or a higher level dun sa trabaho mo sa Philippines. Especially that in the Philippines, mas, mas social media connected tayo, mas madami yung uh, um, engagement na meron tayo, mas technical, mas nauna tayo dun to engage with, with digital marketing and all that. I know Dubai is really, really advanced but um, I think with with yung pagiging complex ng mga marketing campaigns, I think mas, mas marami tayong tinatrabaho sa Philippines. But here as well, uh, what's good about or, or different here in the UAE is that, or yung challenge na pwede naman dito is that where you will work with over 200 nationality. So you have to understand each one of them. You have to understand sino, nga, sino ba sa kanila yung in target market mo talaga, or sino yung core target market mo who are your secondary target market. Um, so those are the things na kailangan mo aralin, kailangan mo explore when you want to be in a marketing uh, field here in, in, in Dubai. And, um, and that would really be very, very important for the things that digital marketing, since the digital marketing, yeah, you really have to be specific in your target market. And you can actually be specific and set the parameter to target your specific target market. Yeah. That's very clear, sir. Vince, um, we understand though, both Dubai and the Philippine market, they are both challenging in terms of reaching out to them, especially when you mentioned that Dubai would have different challenges also, having uh, 200 nationalities to, to consider. Mm -hmm. In the Philippines also, we have different demographics. I mean, that's really important for our audience to take note, regardless whether where we will practice abroad or here in the Philippines, the experience and of course, to develop first our skills really important no, in, uh, in the world of digital marketing. Mm -hmm. As much as we want to really accommodate a lot of questions, I think uh, we are down in this last question with this last question. And uh, I, would, I, I think this will echo most of your questions as well. Uh, this is like really maximizing uh, her or his uh, time here, no? this student. no. It's like asking for a practical advice from you, Sir Vince. Mm. I just opened my IG clothing shop yesterday. What should I okay. do in order for my shop to gain more followers and customers? Okay. Well, for me, for SME or startup business, my suggestion really is to start with your K. Anything that starts with K, with your kakilala, kapamilya, kaibigan, lahat na yan. Okay? Let's start with the organic people na meron ka to, to reach your, or to increase your followers. And then, you can, once you have enough, or not enough, if you have reasonable number of followers based on your existing network, and then a good number of content uh, side by side, then you can start running um, couple of marketing campaigns that would drive or increase your followers. It could be in form of competitions, it could be in form of uh, promotions or services, or it could be just a normal uh, corporate branding or branding exercise that you could actually boost that would create curiosity for people to actually follow your um, social media page. And as mentioned earlier, likewise, there's a case of YouTuber that kanina no? If that platform is not working well immediately, nahirapan ka because and it's too busy, you can always explore other platform but redirect them to your main social media kung saan ka mag engage more, kung saan ka mag kung saan mo ipopromote more your service or your product. Yeah. 
Okay, thank you so much, Sir Vince. Uh, the keyword there is curiosity, always uh, making people curious <laughs> about your, your brand, about your products. And I like when you mentioned the traditional, the K, kakilala, kapamilya, kamag-anak, kapatid, kabarangay. So we always start with our our own yes. sphere, yes. And uh, it helped us, would help us rather, no, to reach out. No, it's like always the the case, no, for the Philippines, no. Marami tayong kakilala, we are, we are really friendly, so we can always start with that. And uh, I like also when you mentioned that if it's not working, we have to fix it and look for another way or platform. And but we don't need to fix something that's not broken as well. You know? I mean, mm -hmm. we will see how it's really working for us that particular platform. But do always go back to the main account or the uh, the social media account that you would like to manage. Uh, thank you so much, Sir Vince, for answering all of the questions of our audience. Much as I would like to read all the questions, remaining questions, I'm afraid we do not have the luxury of time. We will ask our speaker if it's possible for him to reply to your questions in the conversation section of MS Teams. We learned today the power and potentials of digital marketing in providing us with possible career opportunities. It helped us understand how we can tap our current skills and see how it can land as a career in the digital marketing company, whether as a writer, a researcher, the creatives like graphic designer, interactive and multimedia designer, statistics and analytics manager, up to being a social media marketer or marketing manager. These career paths are really promising, especially now that we shifted to full online ecosystem and will continue to favor connections to e-commerce and the digital world. Uh, Sir Vince also mentioned earlier about digital footprint as part of our, or equivalent to our digital reputation. It's important how our decisions and activities in social media will really affect our image and general impression, especially in connecting with your industry and potential company. Uh, I would like to really reiterate when he mentioned theory is good but it will only last you for two months. Continue to study, research, explore, and try. There's no end to learning. We would like to become lifelong learners to, to uh, make and create a way for a successful digital career. There you have it. Before we officially conclude our pep talk for today, we would like to present this certificate of appreciation to our speaker. Uh, Sir Vince uh, Ang, let me read. Uh, this part, no? Um, for Eastern University Career and Placement Office, Certificate of Appreciation is presented or awarded to uh, Mr. Vince Ang for his valuable contribution as resource speaker in this uh, particular theme, You're the Brand, Understanding the Power of Digital Marketing. And uh, we, this is actually presented today, February, or sorry, March 23, 2021. Far Eastern University, Manila. Signed, Maria Carmen Sita Suva Alfonso, Director of the FEU Career and Placement Office. Sir Vince, thank you so much. Before we end this webinar, are there any parting words or final pieces of advice you would like to share with our audience and, of course, our Tamarao students? <laughs> well, they can they can uh, add me on my social. Usually, it's, it's Spill the Vince or it's, it's me, Spill the Vince. Um, I, if I have time, I'll try to make time as well uh, to answer the questions uh, for for anything related to marketing or digital marketing. Um, yeah. And uh, digital marketing is a very uh, fast paced industry. So for those who would like a very active lifestyle work, uh, environment engage in digital marketing there's a lot of potential uh, for you to grow and explore in different uh, aspects and you could always shift the man to different part of the marketing uh, uh, department or marketing industry once you have good experience in digital marketing thank you so much at this juncture again we would like to thank our speaker mr vince ang for his okay. precious time and for gracing this event with his valuable knowledge and experience. To all our students in attendance, please do not forget to answer the online student activity evaluation form and we will provide you with your e-certificate of attendance or participation. In behalf of the FEU Career and Placement Office, we would like to thank again the Alumni Relations Office, our digital media partner, Shanghai Syndicate, and Mr. Christian Evasco of the Marketing Communications Office for making this webinar possible. We would like to thank also our dear students, faculty members, and employees for joining us. 
We hope that you've learned a lot from this webinar. We, we, we invite you again to join us in our next Pep Talk episode on April 13. For updates, please check the Career and Placement Office Facebook page from time to time. And as we end, may we invite everyone to join us in singing the FEU hymn. This is again your MC, Ron Gascon. Keep safe, everyone. Be brave, Tamaraus.